It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this middle school edition of Science Bowl. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Martin Luther King Middle School, would you please say hello to Zach Landau, Karthik Sundar, and Liam Greaves. And from William Wirt Middle School, please welcome to the program Alpha Cote, Jose Martinez, and Nathan Campbell. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth five and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. And the winner of today's game will come back to play Hyattsville for the chance to move on to become the third of this year's four middle school semifinalists. So we'll have a lot at stake. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. Karthik, would you try that buzzer? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Zach, and to Liam, and Jose. Give it a push. Looks like it's working just fine. Good luck to you, to Nathan, and to Alpha. Are we ready? Yes. All right, let's have a great game, guys. And we go alphabetically M before W. So, Karthik, would you start the bowl, please? Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, not just an allergen today, these plant parts can be fossilized for millions of years. What parts are we talking about, William Wirt? Pollen. Pollen, absolutely right. The pollen makes you sneeze today, but those little grains are almost indestructible. Maybe that's why they bother us so much. Nice work there. Thank you, Nathan, for your help. Go, Jose. Green things for 15. Green things, 15 points. Team's a multiple choice question. Team, which of the following leaf parts is very similar to our nose because gases can come in and out? Are they known as the mesophylls, the axils, or the stomata? Martin Luther King. Stomata. Stomata, absolutely. On the underside of the leaf, the little pores that let gases and liquid go in and out. Go red. Nice answer. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, what vitamin that we get from the sun and dairy products if it's missing, Martin Luther King? Vitamin D. Vitamin D, absolutely right. If you lack it, it also makes you more susceptible to multiple sclerosis. That would have been the rest of my story. Nicely done. Thank you, Liam, for your assist. Go, Karthik. Um, let's, get let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, if this gas, which makes up four-fifths of the air that we breathe, William Wirt. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. If it is liquefied, you can freeze bananas and r roses by just dipping them inside. Nicely done. All right, word. Back to you. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, when oysters reproduce, they spawn and they produce spat, which are eggs. When those eggs develop, the next stage in their development has the same name as the second stage in complete insect metamorphosis. What is that stage? Martin Luther King. Pupa. Not pupa. William Wirt, what is the second stage in complete insect metamorphosis? It is the same name as the second stage in oyster development. Yes, sir. Larva. Larva. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Oyster, oyster, larvae. Try again, please. Green. Zoop parade for 10. Zoop parade for 10 points. Teams. 
Ancient beavers were much larger than modern day beavers, and instead of eating trees, they ate aquatic vegetation, much like what modern day African herbivore that lives in rivers. Martin Luther King. Hippos. Hippos, that's right. Hippos and ancient beavers acted similarly. They were almost the same size as well. 90 to 70, King has the lead. Karthik, you choose. Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, if you have a persistent problem, you just can't get rid of it, you say sometimes, I would like to get this animal off my back. Martin Luther King. Monkey. Monkey. Get this monkey off my back. That's the saying. Good. Red. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the Russians are building a spaceship to take men to Mars, and they are going to use what kind of controversial power to get it there? Hmm, Martin Luther King? Nuclear? Nuclear, that's right. It's a nuclear-powered spaceship. And, of course, the concern is if there is leakage and there's radiation in outer space, there's already radiation out there. We don't need to add more to it. Thank you, Liam, for your assist there. You're up to 105. Karthik, go. Um, body systems for 10. Body yeah. systems, 10 points, teams. A new book called Dracula the Undead is a sequel to the original classic. You might say that Dracula needs a what of new blood? Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. A drink. A what? A drink of new blood. Not a drink of new blood. Remember the category, body systems. Dracula the Undead, a sequel to the original Dracula classic. You might say that Dracula needs a what of new blood? A pint. Ah, that's a good try, too. We're looking for transfusion. He needs a transfusion of new blood. Nicely tried on both teams, but no points. Go again, Red. Green things for five. Green things for five points, teams. Another name for wood, which is invoked when a logger chops down a tree, is Jose. Timber. Timber, absolutely right. Good answer. Go, green. Body systems five. Body systems five points, teams. The Jonas Brothers are said to make teenage girls go weak in these patellar joints. Martin Luther King. Knees. Weak in the knees, that's right. Screaming and yelling all over the place. All right. Nicely played, guys. 110 for King, 75 for William Wirt. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science. Well, thank you for spending part of your day with us. Six outstanding young gentlemen playing our game today. Let's find out a little bit more about them. Let's go to Martin Luther King. And, of course, King has won our championship once before in our 24-year history, and I know you'd like to repeat that. Karthik and Liam and Zach, all veterans of Science Bowl, been here before. Let's find out, first of all, about King itself. Miss Robin Wilteson, the principal over there. Who's your sponsor, Car sponsor Karthik? Our sponsor is Miss Reyes. Miss Reyes, and she has been sending us great teams for years and years and years. Outstanding teacher. We always love having her with us. And were there any alternates on your team? Yeah, there's one alternate. He's Chidi Obinichi. All right, and Chidi will be out a little bit later, so you'll get to meet him and Miss Reyes. Karthik, tell us a little about yourself. Now, you played on the King team before, and you're very much at ease. You play the game so well. How do you come by all your science knowledge? Well, my dad's a scientist, and um, he specializes in um, like bacteriology, so he helps me with green things, all those um, um, biology stuff, and because I go to school and I read. And you obviously read. You're obviously a great student in school and out of school, and you hope to follow in your dad's footsteps. Do you want to be a scientist yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Or an engineer. Or an engineer. Great aspirations both. Liam, nice to have you back. You were on our show once before. And what school did you represent? I represented Bond, Bond Mill Elementary. Bond Mill Elementary. You and Zach both. And you're wearing the same color shirt. And I know both of you play on the same soccer team. And you both won the same soccer championship. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. You guys are terrific. Tell me, what did you win for winning the championship? We won a trophy. It was about this high. Wow. All right. That'll stay on the, in your room forever and ever. Tell me, uh, what do you do when you're not playing soccer? When I'm not playing soccer, I like to read, and I also love to play video games. Video games, all right. I can tell by that smile and that twinkle in your eye. What do you want to do when you get older? When I get older, I know that I would like to go to gradu under 
undergraduate school at the University of Maryland and go to graduate school at Johns Hopkins. Wow, you've got it all planned out. I like a guy with a, a clear mind, and you play the game so well. Zach, nice to have you back, young man, who was born in Hawaii. How long did you live there, Zach? Mm, two or three years. Two or three years. So you don't have too many vivid memories, I wouldn't think, but uh, what a place to grow up. You and Barack Obama both. He's also from Hawaii. Tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I usually play video games or on the computer and mm. sometimes read books. Oh, wow. What kind of books do you like? Um, some science books and just fiction, nonfiction. Oh. Nonfiction as well. And you see yourself doing what when you get older, Zach? Um, being a chemist or um, developing new medicines. Wow. Because I know you want to do something about so many of the diseases that are out there. So there's some really noble ambitions there, Zach. Nice to have you back. Let's go to William Wirt. Three new players here. You've never been on our show before. It's real nice to have you here. Jose, you're all wearing yellow. And I know the color of the shirt at King tells you what grade they're in. What about at work? Does everybody wear yellow? No. The sixth graders wear light blue. Mm -hmm. The seventh graders wear white. Mm -hmm. And we wear yellow. So the yellow means you're the upperclassmen. You're the big men on campus over there. All right. Jose, tell me about William Ward. Who's your principal? Our principal is Mr. Christian. Wonderful. And who's the sponsor of your team? The sponsor of our team is Ms. Briscoe. Ms. Briscoe, and you know, she has jumped in this year and done such a phenomenal job getting you organized and practiced, and we appreciate all her hard work. And you don't have any alternates on your team, do you? No. No. You're it. You, we don't need alternates. You guys are doing just fine. Jose, what do you do in your spare time? I like to play clarinet, and I read a lot of books. A lot of books. You played the clarinet, you said, for three years yeah. now. That's just wonderful. I know the dedication that takes. And what, when you get older? When I get older, I plan to be an inventor. An inventor, yeah. All right. Well, if you find, they say if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. So let's hope you build that better mousetrap. Nathan, nice to have you here. A uh, young man who likes to cook, is that right? Yes, yes. And he makes jerk chicken. And tell us simply, how do you make jerk chicken? I know you don't want to give away anything too much. This is your recipe, but what's the, the key to making it good? The right pepper. The right pepper. All right, I like that. And tell me why you wanted to be on Science Bowl. Well, I saw it back in 2006, and I was kind of hooked. And you were hooked. Well, we appreciate that. Now you're here, and I hope you're enjoying yourself, because we're enjoying having you here with us. Alpha, nice to have you here. Tell us the Alpha story. What do you want to do someday? I want to be an animator. An animator, that's right. Now, do you have a favorite cartoon that you would like to, like, animate, be the next generation of animators? Well, I think so. Which one would that be? The Teen Titans. Ah, that's great. So uh, you obviously draw very well. How do you come by all your science knowledge? Well, school. School, all right. Obviously, William Ward is a great school, and you're picking up a lot of good things in a class. So keep playing your good game over there. Let's get back to it. William Ward, 75. Martin Luther King, 110. It's close. Lots of big points to give away. So let's have a good second round. And Karthik, would you start us out? Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Team's a multiple choice question. If someone gives you a hygrometer for Christmas, a hygrometer, could you use it to measure relative humidity, air pressure, or wind speed? Which of those would your hygrometer let you do, Karthik? Wind speed. Not wind speed. Good try. A hygrometer is a meteorological instrument that will help you measure relative humidity, air pressure, or wind speed, Jose. Relative humidity. Relative humidity it is. Nicely done. Good comeback. Go green. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, the question in that category is as follows. The dark phase of photosynthesis is when the carbon dioxide, with the help of enzymes, produces this food. Name that food for 25 points, Martin Luther King. Sugar. Sugar, absolutely right. The glucose that is the power of the plant and that we eventually use ourselves, directly or indirectly. Nicely done. Go red. Um, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, <laughs> unlike raiding picnic baskets in Jellystone Park like Yogi Bear did, today real bears rip apart minivans to get at juice boxes and Cheerios because those bears are trying to get what kind of food? What kind of food, Martin Luther King? Honey? Mm, no, no. William Wirt, when the bears in Yosemite Park today rip open minivans to get juice boxes and Cheerios, what kind of food are they after? Sugar. Sugar is fine. Carbohydrates also fine. They're looking for some carbs, okay? Junk food, if you will. Go green. 
Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, there is a new movie out called The Blank Thief about a teenager who is the son of Poseidon, and he steals this bolt. William Wirt. Lightning. Lightning, the lightning thief. He steals the lightning bolt that is the characteristic, the trademark of Zeus. Good. Green. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. Teams, when animals are much smaller than normal, like little wee mice, little wee... Yes, Martin Luther King. I'll give it to... Pygmy? Pygmy is right, Liam. The pygmy hippopotamus, the pygmy mouse, named after that tribe of very small people in Central Africa. Nicely done, Liam. Okay, 150 to 105. Very close still. Karthik, you choose. Um, Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. It was on October 29th, 1969. The two California sites traded data along what they called the ARPANET, which was actually the beginning of what we use today. Martin Luther King? Internet? The internet, absolutely right. Internet, 40 years old. Can you believe that? Go red. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, it was in Korea that a scientist who was using stem cells in his research was revealed to be a fake because he claimed he could reproduce human beings this way. What way, William Wirt? Cloning. Cloning, that's right. He said he could clone human beings. He was revealed to have faked that data. Good. Green, go. Green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. Teams, if you take a white carnation, put it in a vase that has purple food coloring, very soon there will be purple color in that flower. This is because of what kind of action that is named for... We weren't... Osmosis? Not osmosis. Good try. This action, this movement of the color up into the flower is named for, this action is named for the same blood vessels that we have are, that are our smallest blood vessels. Capillary? Capillary action or capillary action. Absolutely right. Good comeback. Good. I like the osmosis answer. Try again, Karthik. Finds potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams. Scientists have recently discovered a starfish that they call the Octo Starfish because instead of Martin Luther King. Eight legs. It has eight legs. It has eight legs, actually arms. Octo, normally it has five. Octo is the prefix that means eight. That's what I want to hear. Good. Red. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Team's interesting question. Because queen bees want to wipe out all competition, they release a pheromone from their body that inhibits the development of what organ in all of the other workers in the nest? Hmm. Correct answer is the ovary, the ovary, which produces the eggs. Only the queen can lay eggs. She doesn't want anybody else out there. She wants no competition. Admittedly, a difficult question. Go red. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please, for this question. Dateline for 20 points. Teams in the center of this cartoon from 1796 is the scientist Edward Jenner, who invented the vaccine for cowpox. You can see the people turning into cows because they feared what would happen. Actually, the cowpox vaccination was the prelude to developing the first ever vaccine against what other kind of pox? Martin Luther King. Smallpox? Smallpox, absolutely right. That was the scourge back then. And of course, we have wiped that off the face of the earth. Go again, red. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Seems a multiple choice question. Because the earth spins on its axis, all air and ocean currents north of the equator go right. All of the ocean and air currents to the south of the equator go left. Is that known as the Doppler effect, the Bernoulli effect, or the Coriolis effect? William Wirt. Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect. Yes, sir. Good. Jose. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the word atrium means a large room or entryway. But where in the body do you find an atrium? Martin Luther King. Heart. In the heart. That's right. As in atrial fibrillation, sometimes it doesn't beat properly. The atria and the ventricles. Red. Signs Pope for 20. Pope Bree for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If you need a new liver because yours is diseased in Japan, you have to leave the country because culturally the Japanese do not believe in what kind of operation? William Wirt. Transplant. Transplant. Absolutely right. Good answer. Thank you. Nathan, go. Jose. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. The big one in that category, teams. Uh, your question is as follows. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. 
Look at the monitor. Teams, these are baby possums. You're looking inside the mother possum, but that is not the uterus. Those babies are not in utero. Tell me where in the mother possum's body these babies are. William Mert? The fetus. Not the fetus, good try. Where are these baby possums in the mother possum's body? This is not in utero. Yes, sir. The womb? Not the womb. Possums are marsupials. They are inside a pouch, in a pouch. Try again, green. Body systems are 25. Body systems are 25 points. Teams, your stomach does not digest itself because it is lined with a mucus. Mm. William Wirt? Yes, sir. What would you like to tell me? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't give that to you, Martin Luther King. Your stomach does not digest itself because the stomach is lined with a mucus that neutralizes the stomach's acidity because it contains hydrochloric acid, which makes the mucus what kind of membrane? If it is not acidic, if it neutralizes acid, what condition is it in? Basic. Basic, basic. absolutely right. It is alkaline or basic. Nice comeback. Go, red. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. Because in the United States, we do not have a range of mountains that separates cold air from Canada and warm, moist air from the Gulf, we have particular kinds of storms that form here, nowhere else. Martin Luther King. Karthik. Tornadoes? Tornadoes, absolutely right. I was about to say they are measured in their intensity on the Fujita scale. Thank you, Liam. Go, red. Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25 points, teams. Talk about sacrifice. Madame Curie, who won two Nobel Prizes, poisoned herself. William Wirt. Half-life. Again? Half-life. Not half-life, no. Good try. Martin Luther King, Madame Curie, the winner of two Nobel Prizes, poisoned herself during research on what chemical element with the initials R-A? Radium. Radium is right. Last question of the game. Let's get physical. Oh, we won't have time for it. It looks like Martin Luther King has done it. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Welcome back to Science Bowl. We hope you enjoyed the game at home as much as we did here in the studio. I'm so proud of these six young men. Even when the questions were incorrect, you knew that they knew exactly where we were headed. All great performances today. Excellent students, all six. Our final tally is William Wirt, 160. Martin Luther King, 295. King, we're going to see you against Hyattsville, maybe in the semifinals. Congratulations to Zach and Karthik and Liam and Chitty. Waved everybody at Chitty. Miss Reyes, I know you're very proud of this team. Let's see some smiles over here. Alpha and Jose and Nathan, you've never been here before, but you'd never know it. You played this game so well, and I hope we'll see you back again. Miss Briscoe, thank you for all your hard work and for being here as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye now.